Hey guys, I think I'm totally lost in this game. But what I didn't uh, lose count about is my FPS. We are running the game at the maximum setting in 1414p on Linux. And as you can see, I'm barely having like 100 FPS. I'm running at 80 FPS right now. The, the graphics are just like wonderful. Like I've never seen that in my life. This, this is so awesome. But there is something I need to show you guys. I go in settings and I activate DLSS frame generation. Apply. Now I have like 140 FPS. I gain 60 FPS. The game is still smooth. Everything is cool. But look at this. Boah, this is insane. This is literally insane. At this point, you are certainly asking yourself, like, how did he do it? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the specific mod that gives you the opportunity to activate DLSS frame gen on your machine on Linux. There is some caveat, but you're going to have to watch the video to get it. Let's get into it. As always, we're going to start with a little bit of context. As you certainly know, NVIDIA did not provide the support for DLSS frame gen on Linux yet. There is multiple reasons why we are not there yet. But the good news is that if you have a RTX series card from the card from 2000 series to the 4000 series, you're going to be able to install this mod on Linux. The mod I'm talking about is a mod made by Nukem9. And if you look at it, this mod add AMD FSR free frame generation to games by replacing NVIDIA DLSS frame generation uh, within the game. And it's actually funny because I made a video last week about NVIDIA Reflex getting implemented on Linux. And the good news related to that is that if you want to have a DLSS frame gen, one of the key features which is required for the game to run this is actually NVIDIA Reflex. And because now it's official, I believe like the dev from Valve actually validated for Proton this morning, we should have like a fully support of NVIDIA Reflex really, really soon. The idea is that it has been supported kind of like unofficially for now, like quite a long time. I would say like more than two months, two months and a half. And uh, some users already like dig into it and kind of like find a way to make this mod work on Linux. So again, I'm going to repeat myself there. You're going to need a RTX card because this is a limitation of this mod. It doesn't work on AMD. I know there is a, a paid version called L Luke. FZ, I think, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in, in the comment below. This, the other one, which work on every card, you're going to have to pay for it on Patreon. So maybe I'm going to try it in the future because I'm really curious about all those mods, uh, to, to be fair. But this one is free. It's free, but you need an NVIDIA card. Now, what is cool with this mod is like if you just bought a, a 3000 series and you feel like a little bit on the size of the road because you didn't have like access to DLSS frame gen, this mod is going to give you a clear idea of what it is. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you how to install it on Linux. And then I'm going to show you the type of performance you can expect. I'm going to divide this tutorial in two phases. The first phase is going to be really about uh, installing the custom version of Proton you need to make sure like the mod is going to work uh, with your hardware. And the second part is going to be uh, focusing on how to install the mod. You will see it's not complicated. I really did my best uh, to make the, the full like installation really smooth. So before we jump into it, I want to say thank you very much for all the supporters of the channel. Uh, guys, you are the best. Don't forget uh, to give a like and subscribe to the channel if you can, because it gives me a lot, lot, lot of help. Okay, so I count on you guys. And uh, yeah. Thanks again for all the, the supporters of the channel. You are the best. So what type of distro do you need? You, you can go with any type of distro. There is really like not any requirements there. 
the only requirement is going to be having a RTX NVIDIA card. And the second requirement is going to be to play on games which are like really not multiplayer. Because we're going to modify the game itself by adding more files. You don't want to play online a multiplayer game with those files because you're going to get in trouble, you're going to get banned. So please don't use this on multiplayer game. You're going to be asking yourself, like, what type of game are, could you play? I was thinking about Diablo 4. And now it's a bad idea. You're going to get banned. So avoid it. For this tutorial, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to install it on an Arch uh, Linux distribution. But you, you don't need Arch. Whatever fits you is going to be OK. So first things first, I'm going to put a link in the description below uh, toward the specific Proton TKG modded version and patch version you're going to need. On paper, you should be able to compile it yourself, but it's a little bit complex right now because there is a lot of things going on on the uh, Proton uh, repo. And I believe for the sake of this tutorial, it will be just easier for you to download it. So I made a link in the description to the direct file. I didn't compile it myself, someone else did. I found it on a news thread on the Valve GitHub, just for clarification. I used it, everything is fine, but I just, you know, prefer to tell you before you download it, but everything should be fine. Once you download it, what you need to do is open your uh, favorite file manager and then go into your Steam folder, root, and then compatibility tools div. When you are there, it should be the place where you already stock all your custom Proton files there. And if you don't have it, you just need to create this folder pretty fast. So I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. And what you're going to do, you're going to open the Proton TKG module you just downloaded. And you're going to copy it inside this folder. So to copy, you just do that. Boom. It's going to extract it. So obviously, I already have it. You, you're just going to have to go through and everything is going to be fine. Now, when it's done, what you need to do is to launch your Steam. If it was already launched, you're going to have to restart it. And you're going to go on your game, Cyberpunk, and click on Property. And the first thing you need to do here is to go to the Compatibility tab. Click on this for the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And then you're going to go down and grab the TKG-Proton-9.0RC5. That's the first step. Second one is actually you're going to go to the general place there, click on it. And here you're going to add the specific line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put uh, the full line for the launch option in the description below. So you just have to copy and paste it. Just for you to understand what, what we're doing here. So this is for launching Mango, Mango to, to show my FPS. This is uh, to make sure that we are not playing too much uh, with the DLL and Proton is not going to replace them. Uh, this is to show uh, the NVIDIA card to the game. And this is a specific command which is going to enable the hardware acceleration stuff. So this is the reason why we need this specific uh, Proton uh, TKG, like a uh, modded or like uh, patch version to start this one here. So this is a command and this is to avoid the launcher skip. So this is done. When you have done that, you close and you should be fine. Now let's talk about the second phase, which is installing the mod. And you will see it's super easy too. So what you need to do is go on this website, Nexus Mod, click on Files. And here you're going to have free version of the one you want to download. The easiest one is the universal one. I made the install with the, pre the first one, but it was a little bit more complex. And the results are exactly the same. So I will really encourage you to go with uh, the universal version here. Then you click on manual download. Here, you're going to have to register an account there. It's totally free on Nexus mode. They're going to ask you if you want to give, donate or whatever. If you want to, just do it. But you don't need to. And when you're going to be logged in, you're going to have a, a link here. You just click and download. When it's downloaded, you're going to have access to the file. So I download three of them, as I mentioned. But the one you want to really uh, look after is the universal one. Click on it and you're going to have those files. What you really need to focus on is the free top one here. That's all. At least for Cyberpunk, the other one, uh, they need a, a 
some third party tool to be used so you don't need that just go with the free top one there and i'm going to show you how to install it it's pretty straight to the point so we're going to open another like uh, file manager here and i'm going to go back into my steam folder i'm going to go into steam here i'm going to go into steam apps and i'm going to go into common so co the common folder is where all the different game are actually installed and you can see cyberpunk here i'm going to click in it and here you have the bin which is like the folder for the executable you click on it x64 and then you're gonna have your uh, executable here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna classify them by modified here and you will see that i've already installed the file here so what you're gonna do you're gonna take the dll gbg help for example you're gonna take both of them the dll help the dll and the dlss uh, 2fsr3 mg blah 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 and you're gonna copy them in this folder so here it's gonna ask me to overwrite obviously because i already copy them and boom on paper you are good if you already started the game you certainly are gonna have like some type of like file with with a cache in it and what you need to do there is like to delete those files really important so we're gonna delete them when you start the game you're gonna have a little log there to see if everything went well if you have a problem you can consult the log it's pretty straightforward if you launch the game and you don't have any log, it means like you did something wrong. So you're going to have to rewatch the, the video and, and redo exactly what I've done here. And the last point you need to do, because we, we deleted the specific cache file here, but there is another one you need to delete. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So you, you open a terminal here and you copy and paste uh, the command I'm going to put below there in the description. And I'm going to tell you what this command does. It's going to be like find in your home. Uh, the folder which are named GL cache. So here you type enter and it's going to find them. You're going to remove what is inside those folder. You selection uh, this one. So this one is cyberpunk because this is the number of cyberpunk of the application. Boom. And this one, we're going to remove this one too because this one is for all the Nvidia game on your computer. Boom. And uh, maybe this one too, right? Like those files, they're going to regenerate themselves anyway. So, boom, it's gone. Now you have done that, everything should be fine. So I'm going to start the game and we'll see if uh, everything is okay. And voila, everything is fine. So we're going to get into it just to make sure that the option is available, but it should be available, no worries. Okay, so we are back in another place of the game and I wanted to show you like uh, the quality of this mod so obviously it's not perfect but right now i'm running the game at 230 fps and i'm in ultra rtx in 1414p okay with the uh, dlss frame generation on so if you did everything well it should appear and if i click there and i remove it i'm gonna go back there and my fps is gonna be more around like 130 135 Okay, oh, there is cop behind me, so I'm going to try to avoid any issue here. Okay. So you see, like, normally I should be around 135 FPS, like 125 FPS. I'm going to reactivate it, and you're going to watch. This, this is just awesome. So now I'm running at 240 FPS. And, and I guess you understand the whole concept here, right? Um, obviously at 130 fps I, I was not bad but here having the opportunity to put my refresh rate higher I'm gonna have a way smoother experience right and, and this is what it's all about so um, I know on paper FSR is not as good as uh, DLSS frame gen from, from uh, Nvidia but I, I, I have to say like I'm pretty baffled and all of you guys, like the user of RTX uh, series like 2000 and 3000, you're going to have the opportunity to try it, especially if you're on Linux. If you're on Windows, I'm pretty sure you already tried it. But if you're on Linux, well, you can do it here. And the, the, the performance is, is super good. Like I'm, I'm really, really impressed. I was expecting more ghosting. I was expecting more bug. So obviously it's not perfect, but 
man like this is this is cool this is this is really cool i can i have to say i'm super fan of it it kind of like uh, put me back into the hype of cyberpunk because on, on linux the fact that i couldn't use like gss frame gen kind of like put me a little bit behind well look at it dude. okay this is this is looking pretty sweet this is looking pretty sweet like running the game at 200 fps in rtx ultra like the graphics are astonishing this is this is wonderful but this is awesome but it's not done obviously i'm covering uh, cyberpunk 2077 because uh, i i kind of like love the way this game looks. it's just amazing but the good news is like there is a lot of other games which are compatible with this frame gen generation mod Dude, like this is this is insane so there is a big list you can go through it um i'm gonna share the link with you guys but the one we're gonna do right now is alan wake 2 i really wanted to play this game and i had to install windows because of it obviously like i had a great experience outside the fact it was on windows but i'm like imagine if i played the game now like how would it feel like with this mod to show you how alan wake is gonna run on linux with this mod i'm gonna use heroic you can use lutris but the way you have to set everything up is so complex i, I don't even want to show it to you guys this, this is stupid complex with heroic it's straight to the point it's really really fast okay so i had to uh, switch to my over distribution here because I totally forget that I didn't have Alan Wake installed on the other system. So don't be worried, it's going to be exactly the same. Uh, you're going to start Heroic Launcher there. What you're going to have to do actually before doing that is to make sure you copy the file I showed you in the previous part inside the folder of uh, Alan Wake executable. So if you go inside the Alan Wake 2 uh, folder where all your files are installed, you're going to see the executable is here. So as I mentioned before, those files, they need to be extracted near the executable and you're going to find them here. So again, you do the same strategy that you executed for uh, Cyberpunk and you just put it there. You can do it for all the game I showed you before in the list. And uh, yeah, it's pretty... Uh, clear now like it's, it's just super simple so you put those two files you make sure that you delete the cache you do the same research you delete everything and here i'm going to show you in heroic how to set that up so you go in settings and i'm going to share with you really quick uh, my settings here so here you need to choose uh, the, the proton you are using so it's it you have to put the same so it's a tkg uh, 9.0 rc5 here you need to uncheck auto install update dxvk and vapi on prefix then what you want to do is go on and on advance the environment variable i put it in the command launch on uh, steam you're going to put them here so here you have the win dll override you have the proto enable like nvapi and the wine hacks so you put on the left the name of the variable and then uh, the value. I know it doesn't render really well here. Maybe it's because of the theme. But anyways, you got the idea. When you are done with that, you launch the game. Okay, so we are in game. I didn't want to spoil anything, so I started right at the beginning. And I'm going to show you the type of FPS I get with uh, this mod. So right now I'm running at 170. And I have the graphics set up to everything on high, uh, DLSS on quality, and ray tracing on custom. I did disable the path traced and direct lightning because I noticed it was kind of like making uh, this mod bug. So I did remove it. And you can see like I have 160 oh, FPS there. It is pretty awesome, right? Like 165 FPS, everything maxed uh, outside of the path tracing. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it. Okay. And we're going to go back there. And now I have like 90, 90 FPS. So you go from like 95 FPS to 170 FPS. If I had to compare it with my experience on Windows, 
with uh, DLSS frame gen, the one which is like uh, delivered by NVIDIA, I would say that there is a little bit less lag on the NVIDIA version. And I would say like the quality is, is a little bit higher. Like there is less, um, you see, like when I turn here, you can see my character, it's kind of like a little bit foggy. Um, so it's not, it's not bad, bad because you don't really look there all the time, but you can tell it's not perfect. And especially on this game, I found on Cyberpunk, it kind of looked better, but on this one, it's, it, it's a little bit harder. You can tell. And this on the DLSS frame gen, like it, it just does not exist. Like the real one, like not not this mod. But the thing is, if if you want to increase your experience in terms of like fluidity, if you have a high refresh rate and you are struggling, like this this is really 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 interesting, and it's free. So by installing it, it's literally free FPS. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial is gonna help you a lot to gain like free FPS with your Nvidia card, but man this is this is mind-blowing so obviously like people who are on windows right now they're gonna be like well but i knew this mod but for user on linux it kind of opened a huge door because i wasn't really sure we will ever have this type of technology on linux and this mod is telling us you will have it whether it's from uh, amg with fsr free or uh, with NVIDIA, with the DLSS frame gen, which I believe is going to be out in like two or three generations of driver if everything goes well uh, with the development of, of Wayland. I have to say like this is really, really promising. Like I'm, I'm totally hyped. I think I'm going to play again like Cyberpunk with all those frames everywhere. And the second point is for all my, you know, fellow NVIDIA users there. Both far they will be like totally let, left out of uh, the DLSS frame gen. Well, they can enjoy it on Linux right now. So if you have a RTX 2000 or 3000, you can gain like, I would say between like 50% to 70% increase on top of the FPS you have right now. And dude, this is awesome. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hack the algorithm, give me a thumb up, I really count on you. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.